with changes comes more liabilities in, in some ways, right? And you got some people now more than ever in such a litigious society and in a place where there's so much more to lose and we work so much harder, longer hours to get it, right? And so much more efficiently, but I feel like we pile more and more and more on our plate. We need to protect our, our, our assets. We need to protect ourselves. So can you tell us a little bit about the umbrella policy, who that would benefit and what it's all about? Yep. So an umbrella policy, um, something that, I, you know, typically it comes to mind for, I would say, you know, high net worth individuals. You're 100% like that's probably the first people that come to mind. And mm -hmm. if you are somebody out there, you know, you consider yourself a high net worth individual, you um, you absolutely should consider an umbrella policy. Um, but it, But it's not just necessarily high net worth individuals. I mean, you know, you, you could be just any, any level of, uh, you know, income or just any, any walks of life, like an umbrella could be something that's, that's very much worth considering. I don't, I wouldn't say, you know, it's, it's like a luxury product or, or anything like that. It's actually pretty inexpensive, um, insurance product that is just going to offer peace of mind, you know, to ensure you're protected against a, a large unexpected, claim that mm -hmm. could ruin you financially. Other types of people that would consider umbrellas besides high net worth individuals would be people that have young drivers, you know, teen drivers. Um, if you own homes with a swimming pool, if you own any sort of rental property, um, if you engage in activities like volunteering or um, coaching sports or hosting large gatherings on a regular basis. Basically anybody that's got slightly higher than average liabilities, like Exploding. more chances that somebody could sue you for yeah. some damages, right. And be seeking financial compensation for something you did or, or didn't do. And you're just, it's being claimed that you did. Um, an umbrella policy is just that it protects you against lawsuits it's liability protection and the coverage typically comes in increments of a million dollars you know commonly sold from one to five million dollar policies and on average it's about 300 to 400 dollars for every million dollars of coverage so you could have a million dollars of coverage for three or four hundred dollars a year and oh. i mean that's about as good a value as you could possibly get when it comes to insurance. You know, it's, it's, it really is an inexpensive policy. The reason why it's so inexpensive is comes down to why it's called an umbrella in the first place. It's because it goes over your other policies. Yeah. So an umbrella is not necessarily going to have a claim. In most cases, your umbrella is not even going to need to be used mm -hmm. unless you have a claim where the amount that is being paid out under your insurance exceeds the amount of liability coverage on the underlying policy. So you have home insurance, you have car insurance. Those policies have liability protection. If you got into an accident and you were at fault or being held responsible for somebody else's injuries, your car insurance is going to pay out first up to the limit of the policy on the car insurance. The umbrella is going to kick in if the amount exceeds what's on your car insurance. Home insurance works the same way, right? Usually people have several hundred thousand dollars of liability coverage on home insurance. If somebody got injured at your home swimming pool or something, unless the claim exceeds, say, 500000 if that's what's on your home insurance for liability, the umbrella is not even going to kick in. So that's why it's so inexpensive because the chances of being sued are remote as is. The yeah. chances of being sued in excess of $500,000 are even more remote. So the actual you know, cost there is actually pretty limited for the insurance company. The likelihood is very low, but the cost is really low to you know, risk and rate equate. That's what, you know, somebody once said to me that r always rings true. The risk of actually getting sued for that much money is low. The rate's going to be low for that uh, situation. And it's kind of why it's a no brainer, right? Like it's a very inexpensive policy. Mm -hmm. The chances are super remote, but if you did have something like that happen, boy, you'd be kicking yourself if you didn't pay like $300 a year for an umbrella yeah. policy and you just 
found yourself out a million dollars because you were sued for, you know, $1.5 million and you didn't have enough coverage to, you know, to protect you. Mm -hmm.